It's really getting a lot of attention, and we've seen these videos before. This sure. is nothing new, but this time there's a bit of a difference here because city leaders say this is a tipping point. It's one of at least four scenes New Orleans city leaders call dangerous and illegal that popped up on city streets Sunday. There's no way in hell we should be allowing anyone to come into our city and rule our city. City leaders say out-of-town groups came to New Orleans with a mission. They titled this the takeover. They were on social media talking about they were going to take over our city. Traffic blocked, cars doing burnouts, and people with guns as spectators crowd around. Social media posts point to groups from Baton Rouge, where the police chief there says there's a zero tolerance policy and a special police unit in place to address it. Are we pushing them out to other areas because of our um, uh, enforcement actions? Uh, I don't know. Chief Murphy Paul says his department is working with the NOPD on enforcement actions. New Orleans police are looking for the owners of these four cars and anyone else who helped organize or take part. For those individuals who think this is funny who think this is okay and don't realize the public safety issue that they present. One video shows a man on the hood of a car fall off, then get hit. Another video shows two men jump on the hood of a police cruiser as others kick it. Police say these are those two men and are trying to track them down. He was under attack and he did what he could do. Uh, the best thing that he could possibly do at that time was to try to disperse the crowd as best as he could and get out of the way. Both chiefs want penalties enhanced at local and state levels, including seizure of vehicles involved. Instead of reckless operation, Chief Sean Ferguson vowed to arrest defenders for aggravated obstruction of a highway, which is a felony. We will be bolder. We will be more brazen in our response. Now, Chief Ferguson says another big problem here with these car stunts is the fact they distract from the biggest problem right now in the city, which is violent crime. State police is also working with local agencies to try and address these pop-up stunts. Katie? All right, more to come. Thank you, Mike.